Hello, my name is Benjamin Dean. I'm the principal developer advocate for Zoom, and uh, I've, I've read an article uh, on Slashdot about a uh, town hall in LA that was ruined by, uh, it was being hosted over Zoom meetings, and it was ruined by some troll somewhere who decided to join the meeting and start screen sharing and showing pornography. Uh, oddly enough, uh, I, I'm so used to using Zoom in a business sense where I'm always with trusted people in meetings, I you don't think about those things, right? You don't think about bad actors coming in, but there's lots of people out there who are extremely immature and uh, they, they, they want nothing more than to ruin your meetings. So what I want to show you today is how to ha host G-rated meetings with Zoom for like public audiences. Um, so there, there's a couple different ways you can go about this. First, let's start off with when you're inside of the Zoom web portal, uh, and you're on the meetings page and you want to schedule a new meeting um, or if you were to uh, come up here and, and host a meeting um, it, actually host a meeting I believe is going to start up a meeting right away but if we're scheduling a meeting for later like say, say I'm scheduling a town hall um, you know I could enter all my information up here for my topic and my date and whatnot but how do we stop people from doing bad stuff well there's one thing there's a couple things that we could do here in when we're scheduling meetings number one would be to require a password right if we want to require passwords make sure we're generating the meeting id automatically don't use your personal meeting id because if you use that you're sharing that out and that's that this stays with you no matter where you go so always generate an, uh, an automatic meeting id you can add a password if you want that's that that helps a little bit if you want to share that out privately with a group of people who've registered and you know and trust those people but if you don't, you can keep that off, and I'll show you guys how you can disable that uh, or disable other features of Zoom to stop the trolls. You know, don't feed the trolls. Number one is going to be disable. So uh, participant video, make sure it's turned off. So make sure you turn off the participant video. Uh, also mute participants on entry. So keep everybody... Uh, uh, oh, looks like, looks like I have to update to a specific version of Zoom client to be able to get this to work but mute all the participants on entry um we also want to you can enable the waiting room so the waiting room feature is really cool um it's a way to be able to have a place that tables all the users but doesn't actually let them into the meeting the participants doesn't actually let them in until you bring them into the meeting you can also say only authenticated users can join um, if you want to so that means that they have to sign into zoom um, now that's not a guaranteed way to uh be sure that um, you're not letting bad actors in because these people could go create a free Zoom account um, and get in. Now, we've got systems in place and teams of people who are building software to try and keep all these bad actors out by uh, looking at where they're coming from, uh, looking at, at, at all kinds of other things, uh, but ways to try and keep bad actors out. But this is an extra layer of protection you can add is to let only Zoom people in. But if you're hosting like a town hall, maybe not everybody is going to have Zoom so you maybe you want to disable that. Um, I, I personally, I, I, if you want to record the meeting, you can. Um, I'm going to disable that for right now. Um, I wouldn't enable join before host unless you have enable waiting room on because otherwise people could come in and start doing things in your meeting like um, sharing their screens and sharing pornography, for instance, or other bad things. Uh, so those are some of the features when you're scheduling a meeting. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Uh, but... Really, it comes down to when you get in the client. That's where you get the real control over this. So let's go ahead and let's go over to Zoom real quick. There we go. We're in Zoom. And let's, so we're inside of the Zoom client right now. And it, this would be what we would do as a host. So e either if we click join a meeting, if we have one in our list, um, or, you know, for, or we want to start the meeting up if it's in our list, or if we want to schedule it here, you're going to see the same features that you're going to see inside of the schedule a new meeting. So those are the same for the schedule. But if, we, if we're actually in the meeting, let's see what that looks like. So when we start the meeting, um, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll join the computer audio. Now let's say we had a scheduled town hall uh, and we had set up the waiting room. Now everybody's in the waiting room. I'm in the meeting, but nobody can get in just yet. So what are some of the things we can do right here? Well, the number one thing we could do is let's go into screen share, this little fly out window and go to advanced sharing options. And we wanna say, only the host can share. So don't let all participants, only the host can share their screen. This gives us control so that now we know that nobody else can share their screen. 
Um, now, what about people who, like when I was hosting my Dungeons & Dragons meeting or game, meet, game night last Friday, uh, this person came in, started showing their screen. When I disabled that, then they started saying a bunch of derogatory words um, over the audio. Well, what we could do is we could go over here and let's open our participant list up. And inside of here, uh, before you start to actually kick off the meeting, invite people in, you can click on mute all. And when you do that, um, there's a checkbox here that says, do you want to let participants unmute themselves? And we'll say no. Uh, for a town hall, that makes a lot of sense, right? We want to be able to stop people from being able to speak at a town hall unless we want them to speak, which they'll, they'll show up inside of this participant list and we can go in and we'll be able to turn on their microphone um, by clicking this. Everybody's will be read, but once we bring them in from the waiting room, we can, we'll see that list here and we can select specific people who we want to be able to uh, actually speak over audio. There's a, one other place a lot of people don't think about uh, where people can do things that, you know, the trolls will come in and try and ruin stuff. Um, and, and that would be in the chat. So in the meeting chat, right? So uh, we can say, here's my message, right? Well, the, the trolls, they can also go in here and they can start typing in bad things. Well, how do we stop them from going in and doing that? And there should be a place inside of here. Uh, there we go. So participant can chat with no one. So um, th this should make it to where no participants can chat with anybody else. Only the host should be able to do that. So um, the, the, the host can do that. So it, you could say host only if we want to, um, or we could disable the chat altogether, right? So right now only the host can do it. Um, if I say no one, then nobody can use the chat um, inside of the meeting. But since I'm the host, I may want to share a link with uh, my town hall visitors to be able to view a website and I could say, hey, I've shared this link in the Zoom chat meeting chat. Click on the chat button and you'll see that or it'll be glowing orange. Tell them to click on that and that'll take them to a particular website if you want to. But those are a few of the things. So stopping sh uh, screen sharing for everybody. So it's only the host who can do that. Um, stopping the audio by muting everybody. So mute all uh, and then uh, disabling chat. So when you turn when you go into the chat window, go inside of there and uh, participant can chat with no one. So don't let anybody chat in the meeting. Um, and at that point, then then that takes care of the in-meeting controls. But before the meeting, make sure that you're uh, enabling the waiting room. Uh, make sure that you uh, disable participant video so the participants aren't showing videos automatically. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, the, the other features that I shared with you. But that should help you to have a G-rated town hall or a public meeting where you want to let Zoom meeting uh, be the vehicle for conducting that. So uh, that, hope, hope this helps. Uh, we'll end this meeting because we're all done here. Hope this helps uh, and, and uh, happy Zoom. Code happy.